The bribery allegations against Lujan come from Hillbroom estate handler Keith Weibel. Long after junior Larry Hillbroom purported that his wealth had noticeably dwindled from $40 million. Junior blamed increased retainer fees for attorneys Lujan and Barry Israel. But that increase was authorized by two courts and approved by Weibel a decade ago. Weibel told a Hawaii grand jury that Lujan bribed judges with Junior's trust funds to secure favorable rulings in probate and guardianship proceedings. Lujan says that's not true. In a release shared with Newswatch Today, Lujan states, During deposition, Weibel had to admit that several core allegations contained in his pleadings were false. For example, he alleged that he met with me in Hawaii and that he transferred money to me while there. But Lujan goes on to say of Weibel that he admitted under oath that his allegations were untrue. Lujan states that in effort to cover up his own false accusations, Weibel submitted various checks as exhibits, now claiming that the funds included requests for bribes for judges. Weibel's accusation is not new. Lujan writes, what Weibel failed to say is that federal grand juries in the CNMI, Guam, and Los Angeles were convened to investigate the circumstances. It is believed that Mr. Weibel appeared on at least two occasions before two of those grand juries. Weibel made similar allegations of bribing judges against me. The results of those multiple federal grand juries was not a single indictment returned against me or any member of the judiciary. The conclusion is that an independent determination was made that there is not a shred of truth to Weibel's self-serving allegations. Weibel notes that after his revelation, almost all Guam Superior Court judges recused themselves from presiding over Hillbloom estate matters, and that related litigation on Guam has therefore halted. The question now is why Weibel has not formally complained through proper channels on Guam. Right now, the estate trustees' allegations face further scrutiny. The spokeswoman for Guam's Unified Courts tells Newswatch that if Weibel wants to complain formally, he must first follow protocol. There is a process in place and uh, it is before the disciplinary council. Um, so separate and apart from any um, ethics committee or ethics prosecution of Guam bar members, there is a separate process for the judicial officers. So you know that, that's the, the basic process that, would, um, that Mr. Weibel would have to, to follow and, and not something before a different court in a different jurisdiction, obviously. Again, to my knowledge, there has not been any formal uh, filing of, of any complaint with um, the disciplinary council. Lujan tells Newswatch that, to his knowledge, Weibel has filed no complaint against him with the Guam Bar Association's Ethics Committee.